If you have oily skin, finding the right sunscreen can be a challenge. Okay guys, so the sun is coming out, which means it's time to get your sunscreen game in check. Now, we've done some research into the top five best sunscreen for oily skin, and I'm gonna talk you through it. My name's Dr. Emma, and I'm a dermatology registrar. So before we get into the products, let's talk about why you even need to wear sunscreen in the first place. So the purpose of sunscreen is to protect the skin from the harmful radiation that is emitted from the sun. Now UV radiation, once it enters the skin, it can change the DNA of the cells within the skin and lead to skin cancer. Protecting the skin from the sun is also important in preventing hyperpigmentation and in skin conditions such as melasma and lupus. Now sunscreen comes in so many different formulations and types, you can choose whichever one suits your skin type best. But there are a couple of things that are non-negotiable when it comes to choosing your sunscreen. Firstly, you should always choose an SPF that is above 30. SPF stands for Sun Protection Factor, and it's a measure of mostly how the sunscreen will protect you from UVB rays, which are the rays that are mostly responsible for skin cancer. It's all kind of theoretical and based on numbers. So if someone would usually burn after they've been in the sun for two minutes, if they're wearing an SPF 50, then theoretically they won't burn until they've been in the sun for 100 minutes. But like I said, this is all theoretical. So just because you put on SPF 50 doesn't mean you can hang around for 100 minutes without reapplying a sunscreen. Secondly, you want to look at the UVA star rating. So the star rating measures how much of the sunscreen protects you from UVA rays, which are mostly responsible for skin aging. And you want to make sure that your sunscreen has at least three. So once you've got those things under control, you can now choose based on your skin type. Now, when we talk about skin types, we usually talk about oily skin, combination skin and dry skin. Today, I'm specifically speaking about oily skin because I have oily skin. But if you want me to talk about dry skin or combination skin, make sure you leave a comment in the box down below and I'll do that next time. So let's start talking about the products. Okay, so the first sunscreen on our list of five is the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Dry Touch Sunscreen. Now, if you have oily skin, you know that the oil from your skin mixes in with the sunscreen and it can create this greasy film that just looks way too shiny. But this sunscreen has a mattifying effect, making it perfect for people with oily skin. Another pro is that it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes. So if you're out swimming or you're at the beach, this may be a really good option for you. Now, of these five sunscreens, I currently use two and I'll tell you which one that I'm wearing at the moment at the end of the video. Also, I will just say that if you're enjoying this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel. The next one on the list is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. This is one that I have tried myself and I do like. Now, what's quite good about this is that it's completely colorless. When they say it's invisible, it's invisible. Meaning that when you put it on, it just blends in regardless of your skin type. It's not gonna leave you with any form of white cast. Now, compared to the Neutrogena one, the Neutrogena has this mattifying effect, but this one sort of leaves this sort of velvety effect on your skin, which sits quite nicely under makeup. All right, number three on the list is the Ulta MD UV Clear Facial Sunscreen. Now, I admit I haven't tried this one myself, but I know a lot of dermatologists do talk about it. I see it all over YouTube and social media. This sunscreen has niacinamide in it, which the other two that we've previously spoken about does not. Niacinamide is a great ingredient for people with acne, people trying to treat hyperpigmentation, and also if you have sensitive skin. So if you fit in any of these brackets, you might wanna opt for this sunscreen. Okay, number four is the Bondi Sands, Bondi, Bondi, I actually don't know how you pronounce it, but for now, Bondi Sands Hydra Touch SPF. Now this one, again, it's a really lightweight fluid. It's not gonna clog your pores at all. So it's great if your skin is acne prone or very oily. The other good thing about this one is, of the five that we're speaking about today, it is the most affordable. Now you're gonna be wearing sunscreen every day for the rest of your life, hopefully. So it's definitely reasonable to wanna to go for one that is slightly cheaper. And this one definitely fulfills that. You're not gonna feel it too much in your bank account. All right guys, and we're already at number five. I've enjoyed talking through these sunscreens with you. And I can't believe we're already at number five. At this point, if you've enjoyed the video, please make sure that you like it. So the fifth one is the La Roche-Posay Anthelios SPF Fluid. This is the one I'm currently wearing. What I like about this is it's really lightweight. So when I put it on, it basically feels like I haven't really put anything on my skin. So it works really well on days when I'm wearing makeup because the last thing you want is to put your sunscreen on and then you put your makeup on and your face just feels really heavy and clogged. I don't get that with this sunscreen. 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. We've talked through five really great options for sunscreen if you have oily skin. And remember, all skin types need sunscreen and you should always choose a sunscreen that has at least SPF 30 and has at least three UVA star rating. Now, let me know in the comments if you've tried any of these sunscreens in the past, or if you wanna get any of these sunscreens, you can look at my Amazon storefront. The link is in the description and all the sunscreens are there so you can get your own. Make sure you share this video with a friend and I'll see you next time. Peace and love. Thank you.